I think everyone can remember when they had their first crush. It could have been that one person you sat next to in class and asked for a pencil, that one person that really just caught your eye, or someone you slowly grew a bond with to a point you guys decided to get together. And if you haven't had a crush, or simply don't feel romantic attraction, then you're cool too! Now if you don't know what a crush is, then here's a quick lesson on the topic, and yes, there will be a quiz on it, so listen up! Okay, so here's you, and here's another person. You like that person, but not in the friend kind of way. You imagine yourself doing gestures that aren't typical in friend behavior, like holding hands, kissing, and cuddling. Not saying these behaviors aren't seen in friendships, I'm just saying these aren't as common. You get really nervous around them, maybe start stuttering a sentence or two. That feeling, that is a crush. To all of you who need a definition from Urban Dictionary, <clears throat> a crush is a person who gives you butterflies and makes your heart beat faster. A person you can't describe in a word, but multiple words. A person you can't get off your mind. Shout out to subs that's unknown for writing this. If you're watching this, we love you! Now, having a crush is a big deal. And since most crushes happen during school years, I thought it'd be cool to talk about my crushes. Now, this video is going to be split into three chapters, elementary school, middle school, and finally high school. Not only will I talk about my crushes, but I'll also go over the stereotypes of crushes in each different school. With these crushes, they will be completely anonymous, meaning their names and looks won't represent their real life counterparts. I highly recommend sticking to the end of the video because holy fuck, do these crushes get bad? Now sit back, grab a snack, and watch how I slowly but surely grew a hatred with crushes. You! Me? You think this is funny? In a cosmic sort of way, yes. Well, Mr. Funny Man, is this how you get your sick kicks? What? It's just an ordinary crabby- OH MY GOODNESS! Squidward! Now, let's get one thing straight here. Elementary school crushes are the dumbest thing imaginable. Back then, people were developing crushes over the stupidest shit, and I think the main one was crushing on the fastest kid in the class. Like, I kid you not, one time I was outside in recess and I looked over and saw a bunch of people running as fast as they could to see who the fastest was. The people watching would be silently crushing on them, and it was just so dumb. Just a reminder, kids back then were so unhygienic. We would be doing the pacer test, and that one fast kid would still be going up to 100. The person next to me would go like, Ah, aren't they dreamy? Motherfucker, they probably haven't showered in a week! Not only would people go for the fast kids, but they would also go for the people who just did one nice thing for you. Accidentally dropped your pencil? Someone picked it up for you? Boom, you got a crush on them. Oh, someone opened the door for you? Boom, you wanna marry them. It's kinda crazy how confused and dumb we were when it came to crushes. And you already know the breakup drama was crazy! You could be laying down during nap time thinking about your relationship when your friend will come up to you. Oh hey man, what's up? Listen, it's about walleye. What about them? I saw them giving a drawing to Mason. Wh what but but I trusted them! How could they do this to me? I'm sorry, dude. Excuse me for a moment. I have some things to settle. So then I was like, Mason, I'm going to kill you! Ah! And while all this was happening, the teacher would be at their desk thinking, What the fuck is wrong with these kids? Not only that, but relationships back then won't even make it to the end of the week. Like, I swear to god, you could have someone ask you to be their date and by Friday they wanted to break up with you. Now when it comes to my elementary school crush, we'll call them Moss. Now, Moss was a pretty cool friend I had back in 4th grade, and I may or may not have developed a crush on them. Now, for this being my first crush, what do you think I did? Did I A. Tell them about my feelings and start a relationship, B. Hold in my feelings and never tell them, or C. Get so confused about the crush that I ran away and went to the skibbity toilet convention in Singapore? Leave your answers in the comments below and I'll be sure not to respond. Alright, time's up. The correct answer was B. I didn't tell Moss about my feelings, I told one of my friends about them who ended up telling them. And then I had some explaining to do. Now, because of the fact that I was so embarrassed, I decided that I would be fine staying as friends. But here's the problem. Moss was mute. They didn't like to talk, and that made things even worse. So one day on the hill at the playground, I was talking to them, and I told them that I thought it would be best if we remained friends. Yep. That's right, because of the fact that Moss was mute, I had to friend zone myself. <laughs> it's honestly so funny, and I can't help but laugh and joke about it to this day. But this next story is one that I never thought I'd tell. What? Behind you! Look! Oh my god! Well, 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 look who made it to middle school. 
Now, crushes in middle school are a little more than elementary school because people are finally getting the hang of relationships and feelings. Yippee! However, just a reminder, just like elementary school, middle school relationships won't last forever. That person of your dreams isn't them. Stop thinking that! Now, one of the fun perks of middle school crushes is that a little something called puberty spawns in out of nowhere. Now, you have a new fear when asking someone out. Okay, Salsa. Now's your chance. You can do this. Um, hi. My name's Salsa. Wanna go out? Oh, that was bad. I know, right? Salsa, are you okay? No! One second, I was introducing myself, and the next second, I, I just sounded like R2-D2. I'm sorry, man. You're gonna have to pack your bags. You can't be seen here anymore, Lil Bro. <sighs> I understand. Another thing was that the drama was a little more intense. Rumors of breakups would spread like fire, and they were way worse than elementary school. We went from, oh, they made a drawing for someone else, to, yo, did you hear about Salmon and Ash's breakup? Yeah, man, apparently Ash showed some nudes to her and she laughed and blocked him. Now, quick side note, never and I mean never send someone you like explicit photos. It's gross, disgusting, and they could use it as blackmail. On top of that, those photos you possess is child <laughs> which is illegal. So please be safe and never send anyone nudes. When it came to middle school relationships, they were also just as bad as elementary. These would usually last a few weeks to a month, and when the breakup happened, it was allegedly the end of the world. There were a few positives to middle school relationships, and that was the fact that people were finally being more hygienic. Yes! I'm talking more showers, yes! deodorant, yes! brushing your teeth, yes! it was perfect. But then the body spray and perfume entered the scene ruined the whole idea of hygiene in the first place. People would be drowning themselves in those super strong scents and thought we wouldn't notice? <laughs> bro, please, bro, why you do- <laughs> Ugh, it was just horrible. If you're one of those people watching my videos, stop, please. You're going to kill someone with your Walmart perfume or Axe body spray. When it came to my middle school years, in seventh grade, I developed a crush on one of my friends. We'll call them Wrench. Now, I had feelings for them for a little bit, so slowly I got more and more ready to tell them. It all led up to one time I had them over for a sleepover, and told them about my feelings. By letters. Yeah, I said I was confident, but if you thought I had the balls to confess my feelings, then you don't know me at all. So I wrote down my feelings and handed it to them and walked to my room, except I didn't hand them the note because I forgot to mention that I had another friend there who was sending letters back and forth. Yeah, so obviously I got rejected. I stared at the paper for about two minutes and then went out into the living room and did the worst thing possible. I went out there and asked if they wanted to play Among Us. Oh. My. God, dude, this was so embarrassing. You know how your brain will remind you of your top five most embarrassing moments out of nowhere? Yeah, this is probably number three on the list. God, people are going to be studying our history, and when they find out Among Us and Rejection had correlation... Yeah, I understand if they just bomb the planet and restart from there. And if you think that was bad, then you really aren't ready for the last one. Are you okay, honey? You've had nothing to eat. Don't worry, Mom. I'm a big boy. I'll be fine. <laughs> so, you have made it to high school and are having crushes? Honestly, I can't say I blame you. You're at the prime time where you feel sad, alone, and just want to be with someone. Crushes in high school are basically the closest thing you'll get to something people will be okay with. Unless you're one of those weird couples who call each other pet names oh and have a God, baby voice for each other. Hell no. Ew. Now, with that out of the way, one of the main things that appears to happen with high school relationships is that people decide to be a little... risky, let's say. I know this isn't a new topic, and I know this might not relate to you, but for the few people that want to get involved in spicy things, please try not to do this. You may be closer to an adult than ever, but you're still a kid and kids can be reckless and risky. The last thing you want is to transmit diseases or get pregnant. If you still want to be frisky with your partner, 
then at least be protective and NEVER GO IN RAW! I really hope someone makes an out of context video of me and uploads it. Please at me in that. Now, high school relationships were also more possible to become longer lasting. These relationships usually last 6 months to a year, but don't get it twisted, these will probably not make it past high school, since the percent of people who become high school sweethearts is only 2%. Yeah, don't expect a high school relationship to be the love of your life. Now, my crush in high school happened in 9th grade. <laughs> That's right guys, the freshman year experience part 3 is finally upon us. Who's excited? No one! Get on with the story! Okay, okay, fine. Now, with this crush, by the way we'll call him Dirt, I wanted to make sure I could secure this bag. So, I got my friend who we'll call Shu to help. Now, me and Shu, we were okay friends, and they were willing to help me ask Dirt out. However, as the weeks went on, I caught on that it seemed that Dirt was gathering a liking to Shu. It led up to one day where Shu wanted to talk to me. They said that they actually had been crushing on Dirt longer than I had and wanted to ask them out. I thought about my situation, thought about my odds, and ultimately decided to let Shu date Dirt. Now, I was a little sad, but I could get over it. But then I made it way worse, because a few days later, my friends wanted to go to a light show, and I decided to tag along. Only for this friendly get-together to become a chance to get Dirt and Shu to be all lovey-dovey. And that... that hurt. It hurt a lot. What made it even worse was that every morning I would sit by them and they would pick on me for folding the bag. Listen, I understood that I folded and didn't pull, but that didn't mean I was allowed to be bullied about it. I got really depressed over the next few months, and it took a while to get over it. Thankfully, I got into a way better mindset, and I'm much better now. And that was the story of my god-awful crush stories. We went from bad, to worse, to just downright sad. I think you can understand why I hate crushes. Maybe I'm just too scared of rejection, or I just don't have the charisma most people say they have. Either way, I hope I never have to deal with crushes until I'm 22. Until then, I'm just going to be sitting in this corner with me, myself, and I. Hey guys, welcome to the end card. We just had the first video of the year, who's happy? It's literally the end of March. Anyways, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching the video if you made it this far. Make sure to like, comment something, and you know, subscribe. And, you know, share it to a friend or two, share it to your grandmother, or just like, you know, take the video and then post it on TikTok. I don't, I don't really know at this point. I am sincerely sorry for just not uploading for three months? Was it three? I think so. Three months is crazy. I'm sorry I did, you know, that kind of break. School was really, you know, giving me a tough time and also, you know, other things were happening in my life. But I'm back. I'm here and I'm ready to not be as consistent, but also, yeah, you know what I'm saying. I'm back. I'm hopefully here to be a little bit more consistent. That's kind of one of my goals for 2024. I want to be more consistent with my uploads, but you know, you win some, you lose some. So first video of the year, man, I swear we're going to get like five videos this year, guys. Guys, five videos this year that that's all you're getting and y'all better be eating so uh yeah anyways thank you for watching the video like subscribe yada 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 and uh oh yeah uh voice actors mason and salsa they didn't really speak too much because this is kind of more of a personal topic but you know thank you guys for voicing it anyway and thank you guys for watching the video I hope you have a good day, night, or whatever time you're watching this, Eve, or if you're just like, time isn't a thing, but you get the gist. So thank you for watching, and stay garbage!